hello everyone welcome again and today i'm going to show you demonstration of another uh, spring boot application and uh, it's train ticket booking system so for the technology technology wise it's using spring boot hibernate jpa mysql with mysql as a database and uh, for front end it's using jsp html css bootstrap bootstrap and bootstrap it's a maven application <coughs> it's a maven application following mbc architecture and running over the tomcat it might local host okay so uh these it's following the mbc architecture here you can see the controllers DAO, video exception form service utility packages are there here we have uh, jsp files and to run it uh, we have to run this runner class only and also if you want the source code you can connect us over the email whatsapp <coughs> or uh, gmail will share the complete detail price and services that we are providing with this application we have remote support so we'll do the complete setup with your machine and after that setup you have to follow this demo from here so i'm going to run this application from the scratch so i just clear my logs and to run it I right click on this file go to run as run it as a java application it will start a server tomcat server spring boot will start the server as a on a specific port number in my case it's at 081 and after that it will give you an url as a context path so here we have a context path as a ticket booking so what we need to do uh, just go to the your browser at any browser and enter here localhost and your port number <coughs> and the context path that you can see here will be steady also you will get one if you are having an issue while creating this url now uh, you can go uh, your application dot property file here under the resources folder application dot property file you will get one url app url one variable as a app url here that i have added and you can copy paste directly from here okay now <coughs> what's the things are there this is the home page and after the home page we have a sign in and uh, sign up and login option here and if i talk about the database in the database we have a booking payment trend and user table in the user table we have two types of user admin and then the user so if any user going to register into the application it will come as a secondary user and with a role as a user we'll see one by one what admin can do and the other user can so do over there so this is a static u admin for the application so let's log in as an admin first and then see what admin can do and then we'll move to the user so i just entered the credential for admin user here and this is the password i just sign in over there and i can see the options over there to add an admin so admin can add a new train so for demonstration let's add a new train new train and train number we have to enter the train number and make sure the train number should be unique if we want if we are going to add a duplicate entry it will give an error to us like the train is duplicate trains are not allowed something like that so from location let's suppose i'm going to do location so i'm using just dummy data you can enter any data that you want so I just <coughs> going to enter some random data, ticket price and number of seats. Let's suppose it has a 55 seats and I added it. And for the demonstration, I'm going to just copy this. I click the add and it's showing the a train as train is added. But let's suppose if you want to go to edit again, it will give this train is already exists. So every time you need to enter the unique number. Now where this data is went, so this data is available into the train table. We have just added this table here data here now uh, if i go here and check the trend list i can see that edit data here as well also we have a search option for the admin to like from location to two location so let's suppose i want to search a train from this location to this location and if i hit the search button it will filter out the data for me also admin have an option to edit the train detail so if let's suppose i want to update the price of it so i can update the price and the price is updated now as 500 now also i can delete by clicking on this button also admin wants if want admin can book and the user will book also 
so we'll show you the booking event while we use it as from admin side from user side here under the booking history admin can check the bookings admin have access to cancel any booking at any time also user can do the cancel so admin can check the status of it under the payment section admin can check all the payment details that is done by the other users under the profile section admin can update its own profile and update the data over there i just log out from here and let's register as a new user so i'm just going to enter a dummy data over there click to it so new user is registered into the database so when i refresh my user table i can see the new record is there with the role as a user so this is a new user that i've just added so i'm just going to copy this user and let's log in and book one ticket so i just enter the username password of it and i hit the sign in button here what i can check i can check the list of trends so let's suppose this is a new trend that we have just added also a user can search it any trend from one location to another location like this while we click on the reset it will reset and display all the data so for this from this trend let's suppose i'm going to book a train so here automatically the backend or uh, the data is coming from the backend and these are the my train number on which i want to book from location to location first name last name and let's suppose i want to book up uh, five ticket from here but if you notice here we have a train a total available seat is a 55 and out of 55 i'm going to book the five tickets so that uh, there sh the remaining should be uh, after this booking the remaining sheet should be 50 it should be automatically detected so here uh, after entering the ticket number we have option to pay and book so it will redirect to the payment page here i need to enter my card details and the dates <coughs> expiry date and here what i say uh, automatically according like each ticket price is a 500 so according to the five tickets calculating the total price and displaying here and when i hit the pay button it says payment done and here into the booking history i can check my newly booking also if i want i can cancel it and in train list in the, under the train list if i see here it's now showing as a 50 available seat automatically reduced according to the booking and also uh, this detail will be displayed to the admin as well the payment details and this detail and in the payment also user can check the details so this complete detail display to the admin also but admin can check the booking history and payment for all the users and the user specific user or customer can check the detail of its own also let's make a cancellation so if i hit the cancellation automatically it will update the status as a cancellation over there and now uh, again we have a my profile option over there i can click in the logout i can check the admin and uh, now again so admin can go over there and check the recently added data recently booking that we have done so if i okay i need to enter username password this one yeah so under the booking history i can check the recently added requests the payment requests over there so thank you so much for watching if you need the source code just connect over us over the whatsapp over the skype or mail and don't worry about the configuration we'll do the configuration and it will both same as source in this demo thank you